My character uh, is, um, is a man called Dominic King, who's a hostage negotiator, ex-military, who seen his days of active service, probably finished around 91 in the first Gulf War, and, and has gone into the private world of security and negotiation, which is extremely topical at the moment. Um, and he operates in a very small um, and unadvertised corporation that deals with negotiations throughout the world. Thank you for doing this. Don't thank me, thank the insurance company. I have the family. The brief outline of the story is that he is in Kashmir, in the capital Srinagar, at the, towards the end of a negotiation of a, a hostage uh, situation that is um, that he's dealing with on behalf of an insurance company. So it's a pretty straightforward, and it all goes wrong. So it, it gets into a siege, and so there's kidnap, ransom, and siege. Shut up and sit down, or you will be shot! Drive, drive, drive! How the story unfolds, it's a multinational group on the bus, and so there are all different governments involved. And in these situations, the governments get together and behind closed doors decide the way that it should proceed in terms whether they want uh, immediate and um, violent action in terms of special forces or whether they want negotiation. If they want negotiation, who is going to negotiate? That's the battle. Other countries with hostages on board are getting involved. I'm sure they are. The Americans will want to send in the Navy SEALs. The Germans will just want to pay and the South And Africans. we just stand by and do what? Look, we can't get involved in every crisis. The Indians can deal with this. His personal life is not good. He's coming towards the end of his second marriage, which is reasonably typical for this kind of work when they spend months away. Most of the negotiators that I met, and I hope I don't upset any of them, were on their second marriage. So yeah, his private life is in turmoil. I was sorry to hear about you and Dominic. We used to joke that work was the third person in our marriage. Scripts come, they need a lot of work. Um, and I think the, the pool of people that get together on a project, if the chemistry is right, I think that project then develops in a positive way. And, you know, you keep your fingers crossed with everything you do, that that's the formula. It isn't always. And the Razan family could be held indefinitely. And what? I'm Razan's going to kill family. one hostage for every single hour that my family is held. Do you understand that? You want to do something well and you, you want people to watch it and you want to keep doing it so you can sort of perfect the model. That's how I, I see it. I mean, I think we'll, you know, we will improve hopefully all the time. It's an added pressure being the executive producer on it. Yeah, because you, you have the overall responsibility for it, as well as being responsible for your role in... Uh, yeah, the acting comes as a pleasant relief. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good break when I get to do a bit of that, yeah. Yes? Calling me a terrorist. They're saying I'm a terrorist on Al Jazeera. I'm not a terrorist. You know I'm not a terrorist. Stop wasting my time. Kidnapping is the worst kind of terrorism I know. It'll keep them on the edge of their seats, that's for sure.